At least 4 million Americans suffer with the daily pain and fatigue of fibromyalgia, but because traditional lab tests can't identify the condition, diagnosis and treatment is often filled with trial and error. But now, researchers have finally developed a test with the potential to give fibromyalgia patients concrete answers and long-awaited relief. How's the shoulder working? After experiencing unexplained full-body pain, Barb Hartong was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. It was almost a relief because I finally knew what was wrong with me. Experts estimate about 75% of fibromyalgia cases are undiagnosed, while others live with pain for years, often receiving treatment that's either ineffective or even harmful. Many of the patients with chronic opiate use turn out to have underlying fibromyalgia. So in fact, if that was recognized, then we could realize that we could stem the tide of treating them inappropriately with opiates. Now researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center have for the first time identified a potential test to diagnose fibromyalgia with just a few drops of blood. Dr. Kevin Hacksaw led the study in a unique collaboration between rheumatologists and Ohio State's Food Science Laboratory. We use near infrared in many companies to determine protein, fat, moisture, starch levels, fiber in seconds. Researchers found that this test can analyze levels of chemicals in the blood the same way it analyzes molecules in food. This fingerprinting technique can distinguish fibromyalgia from other chronic pain conditions with near 100% accuracy. The brown colored uh, squares, these belong to the fibromyalgia. The red ones are rheumatoid arthritis, and the green ones are lupus. A test like this provides confirmation uh, and validation of the symptoms that they've been suffering from a long, for years. For Barb, it means managing her fibromyalgia with a daily routine that works for her. It's not just giving me a pill. It's how do I live? And for me, it's exercise. Researchers are now working to study the blood test in a larger group of patients in hopes of one day taking it out of the lab and into the exam room where doctors could then diagnose fibromyalgia on the spot. Carolyn Brooke, NBC Charlotte.